Hello friends, welcome to another Cisco practical lab session. I am Vijay Lohar here. Today we will see how we can recover Cisco route of password if we have forgotten that. But the most important part of recovering password is to be ensure that not to lose entire configuration of router. So let's proceed with practical. As you can see here, we have two routers and a computer connected with console wire using console port. So we have to recover password from this router. Let's see if there is any password you know this is a fresh router and I'll have to configure something here configure terminal hostname I'm assigning hostname as r1 and interface serial 0 I'm going to configure interface 2 with the IP address 10.0.0.1255.0.0.0 okay no shut and if required you can assign clock rate okay interface is configured now and now i'm going to set some password for the router like enable password will be cisco enable secret password will be cisco one okay line vty password will be zero to four password will be cisco so we have set password for the router as well as we have some configuration like we have configured interface and router name and now I'm just going to save all the configuration to NVRAM so copy running configuration to startup configuration okay now I'm going to reload this one and as the booting process finished what we will see is it will prompt us for the password and just assume that you have forgotten that as you can see as I'm trying to access privilege mode I'm prompted for the password and I have forgotten the password so we have to recover the password of this router but uh, before starting anything I would like to give you a brief introduction of booting process of router as you can see here we have a flow chart that defines how exactly the router booting process happens so whenever we switch on our router the first thing what happens is post and this is power on self test basically during this process all the component and interface will be initialized and once everything found okay the next step is starting bootstrap program and this is the program which is responsible for loading your operating system into RAM and according to the register value it will load your operating system as we have uh, multiple register value but in approach of password recovery this two register value will be the most important like 0x2102 that is the default register value and 0x2142 that is that we will require for recovering password but uh, proceed with this one if the bootstrap found that the operating system has to load according to 0x2102 register value what it will do it will load operating system from your flash memory and load also load the entire configuration stored in your nvram and further it will uh, it will provide us the command line interface and what if the config register value is 0x2142 if the register value is this one your operating system will be loaded from your flash memory but by skipping nvram so using this register code we can start our operating system without any manual saved configuration so what we are going to do here is during the password recovery process we will just interrupt our router operating system booting process at this point and we'll define that we have to boot our operating system according to 0x2142 instead of 0x2102 so let's proceed for that so what i have to do here is uh, just switch on switch off your router okay 
and just switch on and you will get here the command line and within this period within 30 seconds just press your control and scroll lock button so that you can get roman prompt so this one is the roman prompt this things happens here and right now we are at this point we have interrupted our routers booting process at this point so that we can define the register value not to use this one we'll have to use this one this is the default 0x2102 is the default register value so we will de manually define router operating system uh, booting process that we have to boot operating system using this register value so that we will load operating system from flash but we will skip loading configuration in ram so what we have to do here is we'll use command conf phrase and the new register value for booting process will be 0x2142 okay and once i use command re reset it will continue booting let's see what's happen if we change the register value as you can see here that it's prompting us for the configuration like new router so I'm going to set no here and as I enable here and see so running configuration and there is nothing right now but we have access router operating system privilege mode but one important co command here so startup configuration still there must be all the configuration we have saved earlier as you can see here you have secret password you have enable password there must be bty password and so on so this is the most crucial part of recovering password that don't ever use copy running configuration to a startup configuration at all i am repeating that don't ever use this command at this point or else you will lose your entire configuration so what we have to do here is first of all we'll have to import our nvram configuration to our memory or ram so what we have to do here is copy startup configuration that is nvram and running configuration that is ram so we are importing nvram configuration into our ram okay as you can see here we have imported the password enabled configuration but still we are in privilege mode so now we can change password here so what i am going to do here is configure terminal and i'm going to change all the passwords like enable password will be one two three enable secret will be one two three four and line vty password line vty zero y four password will be one two three four five okay so now we can verify our running configuration with the new one as you can see here we have secret password we have nibble password as well as we must have our configured interface and now i can save this configuration to startup configuration so that new password will be saved with all other configuration okay but one another thing can happen here like if you use command show version you can see that your default register value is 0x2142 so once again if i reload the operating system it will again boot with only operating system by skipping your nvram configuration so what we have to do here is we'll have to configure and change this register value to default so that the next time when the router will boot it will load all the configuration of your nvram so go for that figure register this is the command configure register 0 x 2 1 0 2 okay so now if we reload 
the router again we will get the password prompt and we know the password right now that is one two three and one two three four uh, and so on let's check it out one two three one two three four that was the secret password so i am accessing my operating system and if we verify so version this is the important command to verify your default register value and you can see that now our register value is 0x2102 so this is not a top job of recovering password from cisco router but the important part is recovering password with existing configuration so guys i hope you like this video if so please do subscribe with our channel till next session bye bye